Welcome everyone, iPhone 7 iOS 12 versus iPhone 7 iOS 13 speed test, let's see which iPhone wins. So you can see I am using the matte black iPhone 7 for uh, both devices. Now I usually start off with a speed uh, boot up test, however the uh, iOS 12 firmware which I'm running has a bug where it takes ages, so we're going to skip the boot up test. So I've removed all app uh, apps from the uh, multitasking, let's get started. First one we'll do is settings. Right here, iOS 13 actually uh, won there, so we'll go to a sub menu general. iOS 13 animation was a bit faster, about around the same. So you can see on the left, I have the iOS 12.1.4 iPhone 7, 32 gigabytes, and on the right, I have the iOS 13.5.1 iPhone 7, 32 gigabytes right here as well. Next, let's open up FaceTime. About the same. We'll do calendar. About the same, photos, about the same, camera, bit of a lag on the uh, iOS 12 one, so iOS 13, mail, iOS 13, clock, about the same, maps, mm, I'd say iOS 12 slightly, weather, you could say that that was, in, I would say about the same, notes, iOS 12 won that one. Let me just get off Siri. Um, we'll do stocks. iOS 12 won that one. We'll do news. Why is an alarm showing up? I would say iOS 12, but you can invalidate that test as what was that. Um, let's do books. Um, I wouldn't say that's a fair test, to be honest. Let's do App Store iOS 12 actually won that one. Then I say we should do the iTunes store. And iOS 12 fully loaded. iOS 13 doing its thing. Um, yeah, I would say the iOS 12 won that one. Um, do keep in mind both iPhones are on the same Wi-Fi network as you can see right here. Um, let's do messages, about the same, music, iOS 12, in fact, wait, let's see, I mean iOS 12 loaded up the app first, but the uh, pop-up showed up first on iOS 13, we'll do phone, bit of lag on iOS 12, so iOS 13 won. Safari again lag as well, so let's uh, go to a new tab, let's go Google, and iOS 13, won that one, hmm, interesting. So we'll do files, about the same, slightly faster on 13, uh, find my. Um, I would say iOS 12, but only because the iOS 12 version has a lot less you know, stuff to load. Let's do podcasts, iOS 12, won that one, let's do tips, iOS 13. One that one, let's do contacts. About, about the same. Watch. Faster on iOS 13 by quite a bit. Let's go to voice memos. iOS 12 one, even though there was a bit of stutter. Compass. Um, I would say that was about the same. Calculator. iOS 13 one. Now let's move over to the third party applications. So I don't have that many, but we'll do YouTube. Interesting. So iOS 13, I believe won that one, but let's just, I want to try again. So we'll do YouTube again. Yeah, iOS 13 did win that one. We'll do Netflix. Bit of stutter on iOS 12. And iOS 13 wins. Let's do um, a game now, whole layer iOS 13 pulling ahead again. Um, I honestly did not expect this. iOS 13 won. Let's just accept the uh, whatever thing. So start playing. Play. Uh, load up fast on iOS 12, but marginal. And Bill start on iOS 13 initially loading up, but... Yes, yeah, it seems fine either way. 
Um, let's do Paper IO2. See which one's wins. Interesting. iOS 13 again. I'm actually liking this. I'm liking how it's faster. So tap on play. Just move around, see if there's any lag or whatever. Oh, there was a bit of lag when the ad showed up, but that was on both devices. Yeah, overall, that's fine on both firmware. So let's do uh, Subway Surfers. That was horrible. We'll just do that again. 3, 2, 1. Hate this new logo. What, what do they do there? Huh. Interesting. iOS 12 won that. Let's do um, this right here. New loading menu. I think it's going to be the same. Oh, iOS 12 actually won. Interesting. And if we just play around a bit. It's not laggy at all, so... What is this? It's saying I'm dizzy on the left, whatever. Um, let's just do Snake vs. Block. 20% battery. iOS 13.1. So, to conclude the first part of the speed test, iOS 13 is faster. There are some times where iOS 12 uh, wins, but iOS 13 at launch faster with first party and third party apps. Let's test the multitasking. So we'll do FaceTime. Wow. That's impressive. Wow. Wait. Okay, clock had to reload. I'm impressed. That 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 actually shocked me because I run the exact same speed test. I did the exact same speed test on the iPhone 6s and both devices are on iOS 13 and neither of them neither of them were able to keep any applications in the multitasking that's impressive like this iPhone this iPhone 7 costed about 10 pound more than my 6s and look at the multitasking difference it's insane wow that that's impressive let's do some more music okay music had to reload messages Okay, that had to reload. Okay, on iOS 12, had to reload that pe uh, page. Um, that didn't have to reload files. Okay, I mean, if I were to conclude this, I would say multitasking is around the same. iOS 13 technically won because of Safari didn't have to load. But I would say it's the same. I think that's just an anomaly. I'm very impressed with iOS 13 on the iPhone 7. iOS 12, I thought would, would destroy iOS 13, but apparently that isn't the case. I'm going to do a speed test between iOS 14 and iOS 13, so I'll leave that in the description. Same with iOS 14 versus iOS 12, so make sure you are subscribed so you do not miss that video. The iPhone 7 is actually a really good phone. It, I'm, I'm surprised at the multitasking because, you know, our launch time, even on the 6S, is great, but the multitasking, that was, that was very impressive, I'm not going to lie. So I'll see you guys next time, bye-bye.